Scooter Vaughn scored two goals in three seasons at the University of Michigan. This year, he has four, more than Matt Rust, more than Louis Caparuso, and more than Carl Hagelin. He played defense for two years before making the switch to forward as a junior. Did you ever give Rust or Hagelin a hard time that you got more goals than they do? Uh, no, not usually. I didn't even really realize that until uh, so my, my roommate, uh, Alan Oaks, plays on the baseball team, told me that. So don't really pay attention to that, just trying to play well. What do you think the biggest difference is between even this year and last? Uh, I mean, a, a second year playing offense is probably definitely a big difference. I mean, I've never played offense really before since uh, I was younger. Um, just work ethic, working hard, getting pucks to the net, and uh, help for my linemates is really putting pucks in the net. Vaughn started playing hockey on wheels as a roller hockey player in Southern California, and his teammates to this day say they sometimes can tell. Uh, sometimes they say in my stride they can say a little bit, but for that, uh, that's about it. Did it did it help in any way starting on wheels instead of skate? Um, yeah, I think so. Just uh, stick handling wise, I mean, roller hockey's not con no contact at all, so it's more of a stick handling, more of a finesse game. And then ice hockey was hitting from a young age, and there's none of that, so I kind of mixed the both together, and that's how I got my style of play. And what was it like when you first stepped on the ice? Uh, it was a lot different. I knew it took me a little bit to learn how to stop because it's a stop instead of a turn like it is in uh, roller hockey. Southern California is a long way to go to play college hockey. How did this SoCal kid notice Red Berenson and his hockey program? I knew about Michigan hockey. I knew about the winged helmets, of course, like everyone else. But uh, Red Berenson and the Michigan program, probably not until I was a late teenager. And when you started to learn, what did you think? Uh, man, I wanted to be a part of it, definitely. I mean, the tradition that goes along with the school. Uh, my parents were big on education, so I was going to school no matter what. It was if I was playing hockey along the way. So uh, and it was big on the school. It was just the education factor. And then Red Berenson, the tradition of hockey and Yost Arena just added to that. Would you say right now that you're a forward and not a defenseman? Uh, I still stick to the roots as a defenseman, though, but uh, maybe just a defense playing forward. Red always loves defensive playing forward, so you got to be one of his favorites. Uh, I wouldn't say that, but uh, hopefully I'm on his good grade right now and Vaughn blended in right away and being one of a handful of african-american players hasn't really challenged him in any way do you think of yourself as a, as a role model uh no i don't until i hear that question then uh kind of, kind of have to be within my position but uh, i usually don't but until that question kind of arises then i would say i am do you have role models guys you said okay i can do this uh my parents mostly are my role models i mean they're both really established in what they do and uh i really enjoy looking up to them for MGoBlue.com, I'm Doug Karsh.